They gathered in the parking lot behind the stands at Dixie State's Zion Stadium in St. George, excited for the kickoff ceremony of the 2021 Huntsman World Senior Games. It's yeah. the first game, so we're really excited. Yeah. All right, and I see you got your pistols with you. Yes, no ammo. No ammo. <laughs> <laughs> While some were a bit nervous, others were proud to present the flags of those countries who have competed in these games since they began over three decades ago. And it's an honor to be here to carry your um, country's flag. So our group is Culture Crew from Lava Ridge Intermediate School and we're a student leadership group that celebrates diversity and um, different cultures. And it's all our first time, so it's going to be so fun. Yeah! The events were televised live as athletes proudly paraded across the field, waving flags and holding signs of sponsors. Welcome to Seven Years Time, welcome to the They all seemed happy to be together to eventually do what they love, and that's to compete. We ran to bring back the gold to the East Coast. Welcome to the okay with everybody else. They were welcomed back in song. and with praise. It's amazing to think that there are more than 10,000 athletes from 16 different countries who will participate in 35 sports over a two week period. You have unwavering optimism, dedication to an active lifestyle, and a zest for living. On stage was the Diamond Talent Dancers featuring Broadway performer Delaney Westfall. Surrounded by fans and fanfare, the athletes were given a warm welcome by a Huntsman family representative. The importance of showing up, having fun, and doing the best you can. And remembering that this is all about instilling friendship and gaining that confidence in order to help inspire other people to be their best selves. Our next speaker is a six-time Olympic athlete in the sport of luge. Six times, and if that's not enough, Ann Abernathy not only had to train as an athlete in a winter sport on a tropical island, but she also had to build a winter sports program for her country from the ground up against all odds. Ladies and gentlemen, Ann Abernathy. After a year pause, athletes, volunteers, and performers were excited for the official start of the games. So I will simply say this, the timeout is over and we're back. Dancers and singers of all ages gave a spectacular performance in the arena while the flags representing the countries were each called out. made its way around the track being carried part way by senior athletes the final handoff was to the Olympian the who then passed the torch for the lighting of the senior games flame cauldron signifying the start of the games please rise as Ruby Parkin granddaughter of John and Karen Huntsman lights the cauldron <laughs> To be able to uh, run it around the track and then hand it off to Ann Abernathy, who's a six-time Olympian, and she's everything that these games represent was just um, one of the greatest gifts of my entire life. Mary Ann and her husband Doug were also inducted into the Hall of Fame for the games, along with nine others during a later ceremony. While this was the beginning of the games for some, others were already ready to go home. We are the Colorado Peaches. Our 50s team played the last two days. 
Um, sadly, we won one game and lost five, but we had a lot of fun, and we'll be back. And the rest of our peaches, the 60 to 64, 65 to 69, 70 plus, are, are coming next week to play. Next week, um, I'm just going to keep all the peaches in line. <laughs> I did the event a couple of years ago, and I really enjoy that, but this one here is something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Just let go of your